you you just got to learn how to wear it like i hate a lot of people will like come up to me like oh you have the face for it like bump the face for it like anybody can wear it just wear it with the attitude that nobody else can wear it better than me you know mm -hmm. and that's just kind of how you have to do it that it's definitely not an easy process like it takes me like 30 minutes of snapchat fit filters and uh, throwing some music in the background to try to build up that confidence but once i got it and i walk out the door you would never know you would think that i just woke up like this and you know that's the point <laughs> Popcorn Gang, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Shantae, and of course, we are back today to make another crochet wig. So, right here, I'm just going over the supplies that you will need to achieve this wig. And the hair we are using is the Brazilian Ocean Wave by Bobby Boss. Now, this one happens to come in a three pack bundle, which are sizes 14, 16, and 18 inches. And I am going to cut mine into a bob because I just don't like long hair. I just, I don't like long hair I'm sorry I love me a cute curly bob so that is pretty much what we are going to be achieving in this video now for my beginners who aren't too familiar with crocheting I will be going over my method on how I crochet my hair into those interlock webs on that crochet wig cap that you see me applying to my mannequin now I originally began by starting with my 18 inch which is the longest pack in the three pack bundle and I'm going to cut my 18 inch in half because like I said I don't like long hair <laughs> we we love bobs over here okay so I'm gonna cut that in half and I just want y'all to see how pretty this color is so this color is called a the T1B uh, over 350 and it's like this orangey red I have no flipping cute but it's cute I, that's all I need to know. I, I just know it looks good and it's cute and we about to wear it, okay? So we're going to cut this in half. This is me kind of measuring where that 18 inch is going to fall once I do cut it in half. So, you know, measure before you cut just in case you're not too sure how you want the hair to lay. So cutting it in half, once we um, begin applying it, I like to do two knots and then I tie it off. So you'll see my method on applying the hair. Again, I do two knots and then I tie it off and that is pretty much it it's very simple very you know it's it's so easy and, and but once you get your your rhythm and your groove down you you'll be flying through this it probably took me about three hours to complete this wig uh, probably would have been a lot uh may, maybe not as long but I uh ran into some some situations where I I didn't know what I was doing because I was over here trying to reinvent the crochet wig and that happens when you want to try new things so sometimes you get caught up and you end up having to to to, to do more or buy more hair and that's kind of what happened with this wig so just going over my process I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and allow y'all to see how I achieve this cute wig that you saw me wearing earlier in the video. Alright, so I took a small break to uh come on here and show y'all what it's looking like right now so um this is just the first pack the 18 inch that i cut in half and it filled up the entire back of it pretty much so this is the entire back of the wig and it is at a pretty good length that i would like um of course it will require a little bit of trimming just to get it the just right but for the most part this is exactly what I'm looking for and the curl and the color is perfect so I can't wait to try it on and see how it is so I'm going to go in with the next size which is the 16 inch 
and that is going to come across right here and then the 14 inch is pretty much going to concentrate right here in the front of the head so all right so i did some quick like measurements before i decided to crochet in the last two bundles that came in the pack and the last two is a 14 inch and a 16 inch so for the 14 inch i think i'm gonna go with that being in the center and then we'll do uh, the 16 inch right up front so it's going to be more of a angled lob when i get done so it's going to be like really short in the back and it kind of gradually gets longer in the front so um this is pretty much what the 14 inches where it's going to fall once i crochet it and it's it's a good uh, two three inch difference from uh, the 18 inch that i put in the back but as i go up more of course it you know begins to blend in better so um it won't require too much trimming but if i went in with the 16 inch which is right here as you can see, that is a good uh, four to five inches that I'll have to cut off of hair. So I'd rather put that in the front. That way it kind of has that nice angle into a long lob. If you can see what I'm talking about, I know I might sound a little confusing, but it's it's getting there. But I just kind of wanted to show y'all that I'm instead of going in with the 18 that I cut in half back here, then the 16 and the 14, I am now going to do the 14 and the 16 is going to go in the very front so I can have a nice angled bob cut at least that's what i'm picturing in my mind and then i want to i still want to do bangs in the front so i'm hoping that that won't look too crazy with a lob cut and then uh, very curly bangs in the front so kind of winging it right now and we'll see what it looks like after i come back because i'm not going to record me crocheting all these bundles in because that's just like wasted video so working all right so i have now added in the 16 inches or no i'm sorry the 14 inches and the 16 inches are about to go right across here to fill that in and then i'm gonna cut the 16 inch what i have left in half to do my bangs right in this section so so it was at this point that i realized i messed up because i did not have enough hair to finish filling in my crochet wig i ended up having to go back to the store and per purchase a second pack of hair because i decided to try to make a lob out of this crochet wig and i had no idea what i was doing so at this point i'm just trying to play reconstruction and trying to figure out how i'm going to finish this wig um, I did finish crocheting it um, that night, but I had to go back the next day to the store. So I took a picture of what it looked like by the end of the night after I got done. And it looks good because I got that filter on there, but honey, it just, it wasn't done at all. You could still see through the cap. The hair was just really thin. It wasn't full like I wanted it to. So I had to go back and this is the next day the next night after i went back in with the second pack of hair night. um well it's not late at night it's late for me it's only nine o'clock <laughs> but um i just finished cutting and styling the wig to fit my face um i'm not gonna lie this wig kind of scares the hell out of me i did uh, trim the bangs a little bit i didn't want to cut them too much but the way i have the wig sitting or the the cap sitting on my head is right at my hairline so that the bangs sit right on my lash lashes like a little bit below my eyebrows and it just all depends on your fit if you prefer your eyebrows to be your bangs to be above your eyebrows you can just pull the cap back i don't really recommend cutting them because cutting them too much because you can kind of adjust the cap to adjust to how you want your bangs to fall so say i'm kind of over my bangs kind of being in my face i can always just push the wig cap just a little bit back to um fit it but the fullness like i love the fullness that it came out um it looks really good 
like um, I'm happy about that. I cut it right above my shoulder and um, in the back, I kept it a little bit longer. I kept the front a little bit shorter. I know originally when I started this, I said I want the back to be short and it for it to come down long in the front, but I just, I didn't like that. So I ended up cutting it all just into um, a nice shoulder length um, wig. And, and I don't know why I'm like so nervous about these curls because I've made a previous crochet wig that had the big juicy like roller set curls and I had no problem with that wig. Like I was able to wear it without feeling a little self-conscious about it. I think it might be this color that might be bringing out a little bit of that self-consciousness. But I, um, yeah, I just had a hard time pulling through you know, building up that confidence that, okay, this wig is okay. Cause at first I was just like, this, I, I, I don't like it. Like I didn't like it at all. She, she's, she's cute. I like her. I like her now that I've worn her for an hour and had a 20 minute photo session with myself. So I had like went on a Snapchat, threw on some background music and was just like, sexifying it all up. So I'm putting a couple of those sneak peek vids in there so y'all can see how I build my confidence. Like, cause I mean, sometimes you just, you don't need somebody else to tell you it looks good. You just need to convince yourself that you look good. You don't need the approval of anybody else. And like, even my husband was kind of like, I don't know about this one, you know, I, I think the curls might not be you. And they're not, but I'm gonna make it work. What are you? I'm getting so close to Come into my senses Come into my, come into my, come into my senses Come into my senses Come into my, come into my, come into my senses I wanna, you know, put on a cute outfit and take some pictures. Matter of fact, I got an outfit that I had to model in um, for one of my girlfriends. So I'm gonna see how it pairs with her jacket that she gave me and we gonna slay these pictures and this hair because I have convinced myself that I look good in this and that we gonna be okay. So we gonna be okay. Hey, Pom Pom Gang. So I went ahead and got dressed real quick. Um, I have to go take some photos for a girlfriend and I trimmed the wig just a little bit more um to give it more body because it was just like really straight on the sides and the bangs kind of like stuck out because of that so i kind of you know just took it as you can see i sheared it down just a little bit to give it more um give it more body just to give it more body and uh, I'm in love with it now. Like it, it finally has come together. I found out what was really hurting it, why it wasn't bringing it together, why it just wasn't giving me that that wowness that I wanted and you know was looking for in this wig. But um, I really, I really like the way this wig has um, turned out. Like the color and everything has now come together, and it, it fits me. I, I think I really like it at this point. So um, I just kind of want to go over, you know, how how much hair and stuff that I use. Now, initially putting this wig together, I had bought one pack of the three bundles, um, which one pack would have been good if I would have cut all the um, pieces in half, but I didn't. I only cut the longest piece, which was the 18 inch in half, and that is what went in the back right here. So I ended up having to go back and buy a second packet because it just wasn't enough hair. So if you plan on using that length um, when trying to make the crochet wig, if you want the fullness that I have, you probably will end up using maybe two packs of that. Um, but I went in probably with the second pack. I, I didn't even touch the 18 inch. I was pretty much done with that one. I just went in with the 16 inch I cut that in half to pretty much fill out the rest of this area right here to give it the fullest that I needed and then I went in and sheer cut it so originally when I put the wig on because I put the wig on to cut it on myself I'm just not very good with cutting hair on a mannequin especially if because I, I, I like for my stuff to sit a certain way and um, last time I tried to make a crochet wig and I cut the bangs on the mannequin while it was on the mannequin, the bangs came up like right here. So 
I waited until I put the wig on this time to actually cut it. And um, originally the hair from the 14 inch fell about right here with the with, with the full curl. This felt, it fell about right here and I cut all that up to here. For people who are not too friendly with scissors and don't really care for going in with the scissors, they do sell this um, ocean wave hair in a already shortcut. So if you're not crazy about taking an 18 inch up to a 12 inch, they do sell it in the, I believe it comes in a 10 inch packet. Follow us on Instagram, that link is also below. Follow us on Facebook, that link is also below. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like, what, what you waiting on? Like, what you waiting on? Like, we, we got so much going on. Um, the girls are starting to make their own little videos. So we have like a little kitty corner if you have kids who just, like watching other kids because obviously that's the thing like now everybody's kid watches other kids do stuff so the girls they love to dabble in hair and makeup and nails and they have their own little adventures that they like to record and show off to everybody else um so make sure y'all are subscribed so y'all can stay tuned to all of those future videos and come and join us every now and then and we will see y'all on the next one peace